by 2030 close to I would say 50 million direct jobs, 5 crore direct jobs are being created in EV industry alone. Just to talk about it, right, while these are all superb and great things that we talk about the India and then the global market, 14 out of 15 most polluted cities in the country in the world are in India. And in fact, uh, the 2.5 particle emitter, that is how you measure the pollution, while Kanpur talks about 170 milligrams per cubic meter, whereas the WHO says that it should be at around 10 milligrams per cubic meter. And not just that, transport sector as such contributes to more than 30% of this pollution and definitely not to talk about uh, our daily raising fuel prices that we see right now. And of course our CAD and then uh, our oil import bill is expected to go to $300 billion by 2030. Now what does it all mean? Electric mobility is not just a solution uh, that we are passionately following just for the sake of following. But then through this we will be able to target three important things. Number one. Definitely we will be able to curb the pollution and leave a better, I would say, uh, environment and ecosystem for our children, for our generations to come. And uh, we reduce our dependency on the oil imports. And most importantly, if at all there is any market that could target and that could compete with our neighbor in terms of volumes and numbers, who is that? It is India. And this is an opportunity for us to emerge as a market leader. In fact, we miss the industry revolution and we cannot afford to miss the EV revolution that's happening right now. And of course, let me also talk about a little bit of the startup world that has been happening, right? Last year, we have seen eight unicorns in the pandemic and the year is not yet complete. This year, we have seen 40 plus unicorns in India, right? So a lot of wealth is being created and you know how different uh, companies, whether it is Tata Motors and Volvos and General Motors, they already made public, I would say, declarations that by 2030, they would convert all their manufacturing units, they would convert all their products into EVs and no more gasoline vehicles. While this is all so great and beautiful, do you know what is the biggest threat to EV industries right now? Definitely not the technology.